Hello everyone, this is your boy Chuck Thunder, and here we are doing noob things again, while everyone else is doing some big battle and is high level, we're going to be sitting here doing some low level grinds while we can. Uh, this has been, not like it's a secret, but this has been a trip I've been making for a long time, back and forth between Soweta, or Kuwaita, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, back to Seville because there has been a relatively good this isn't bad either good trip to make where I buy jute and if you have you know fiber trading or you have purchase orders this is good um, I don't think I have any now and you can just keep on going back and forth selling jute and wine back and forth between these two cities I'm not gonna try other things I mean I guess I could red beans did sell last time so I'm going to keep doing that so I can get my food skill up um, but buying the stuff and going back and forth between here and uh, Seville and I'm making bank on that jute because jute right now is a cultural trend or some sort of rare um, buy at the moment in Seville where it's selling for a high price so if you don't mind sailing back and forth between the two places this is a great way to make money as you see here I already have 1.7 million and that's only been a couple times you know I get a couple 400,000 per trip I mean I wish I could carry more um, which actually it wouldn't hurt if I could because I mean if I could do this again in the future it'd be nice to have fiber trading so where do we get fibers mineral wares casting textile fabric dyes sewing art crafts Weapons, firearms, jewelry, handicrafts, spice. Where the heck is fibers? I guess it'd be fabric, or is it textile? Ah, textile. And where do we get textile? At Amsterdam. It's a good trip just to get. Um, actually, by the time I go up to Amsterdam and come back, I could have made like 20 trips. So it is what it is. I'm not gonna worry about it, but. You know, this has just been a really good trip for me. Uh, I only carry about 30 with me or so every time, but you know, it's a relatively quick trip. And you're going to make lots of money while doing it. And you're going to build trade uh, experience and fame, which reminds me, I want to do extra ship speed, and I want to do extra experience, and I want to do extra fame. Because this is all going to help. Um, heavily and then with all the money I'm making um, I am going to stop in here in Seville and grab some of the East Asian goods <coughs> and sell them too so while I got the money I'm gonna try to chain it a little bit here oops wrong way um, looks like the cheapest is 32,000 for come on load all the players please I need to see what sales they're having Okay, none of them are showing, but whatever, I see these guys here. So, we'll grab some spices. So, what was 10? Gonna cost me 320,000, so maybe we could do 30. No more than that. 50. Yeah. Okay, we bought 50 of those. And here, look, see jute uh, selling high for 12,000. I bought it for like a couple hundred. So, like, just selling that in general. Boom, 427,000 profit. So, I spent uh, maybe 6,000 on it. And then this is going to just add for bonus and help my food trade. And I don't have spice trading yet, but just having the ability to trade this much in is going to give me mundo experience. Okay, that failed. Go ahead and sell, and boom, leveled up. And that's exactly why I wanted to do this, because this is going to help my trade skill. Got a lot of extra trade, 50% extra experience. Trade level one up to 22. My aids ex uh, trade level one up by I think a level there too. 390 trade fame. So this is just going to be how we do this. Um, I could buy another stack now too. But I'm just going to do it every trip. Oh, I want to buy wine. Don't forget to do that. 
because I'm trying to work on my alcohol skill too while I'm at this. Anything else worth buying and selling? No, not really. Oh, look at that, my alcohol trading just went up. And that's actually what exactly I needed, I believe, because now I need to go get luxuries and I needed to have. So, yeah, I needed to have alcohol trading 3, and now it's no longer showing that. So, that's good. Very good. So, we can get luxury trading in Venice, too, today while we're at it. it. Looks like a lot of people are getting ready to go out and do some battles or something, because. Oh, look at that. My trade fame went up, so we got to go to the Royal Castle. So, this is, happens periodically as you. Um, uh, start to get trade fame in your character or just in fame in general and I obviously don't have a lot of battle fame but a lot of trade fame because of my selling of trade stuff but a lot of fame uh, grants you uh, more port permits and stuff now it's not going to get you all the port permits you have to do quest lines and stuff for other port permits but this is one way to get it now I got the African East Coast so I've already worked my way around Africa so this is a good little bonus. Should be good to go. It's going to be a trip to Africa at some point. I don't know what to get down there. Um, I'll have to do some research that fits my food or um, alcohol trading capacities. Um, yeah, we definitely want to make those trips worthwhile if we go to Africa because it's a little dangerous to sail down the African coast. Just as it's uh, dangerous to sail to Caribbean, which I now have the option to, I don't know if I have the boat necessarily to do that. I'm not sure the sloop can go across uh, the ocean. I've never really tried. Um, it says wave resistance 8, and I've seen waves as high as 10 out there, so it's not as like it's impossible from what I understand. Um, but that's all very plausible that w that we can pull that off in the sloop. We may attempt to do it at some point. Don't know that we're going to do it now. So, you get the idea. This is what we're going to be doing for a while. Uh, I really want to get that trade fame up. I don't know if there's any particular reason other than just getting that trade fame up while it's high. Um, <clears throat> I have a couple of... Um, I have some shipwreck maps I could do. One of them out towards the Canary Islands and one outside of Lisbon. Seems like all the people are doing this trip too. I could be wrong, but this seems to be what people are doing. I'm probably doing what, like tiny, tiny trips compared to what other people are attempting to do here. They're making their trips like bank. I'm making a few hundred thousand, they're probably making millions per. There we are, I'm going to buy some jute again. More red beans. Hey, successful haggle. Actually, this makes me want to go to the, I see the town official. Just in case I can like invest in the town. Because um, if I can invest in the town, then maybe I can buy more jute and sell it for more profit. And then it'll be worth my investment in a couple of trips. I mean, obviously Spain is most heavily invested here. <laughs> you look, even get trade fame for that, so. I don't know how frequently you can make that trip to him. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Oh, unless that worked out, never mind. Cool. people are doing some severe battle where they're fighting this fish um, oh God, we got somebody asking where is Ancona uh, 
Ancona is in the Italian peninsula directly south of Venice along the shoreline. This guy know. Help him out. Because I gotta say, if he's not using because these people might be noobs and this is probably a, the, again the issue I have with the game you know there's a lot of stuff unexplained that you learn like just the other day I, I learned and I mean I kind of knew this where if you're handing in discoveries you should be in an adventure job because you'll get the full experience you get half the experience if you're not in an adventure job hence why I'm in a trade job of doing trade trips right now it makes the most sense to do it this way. Um, it's a little bit of a risk, you know, not doing it because you're not getting the full value of your um, possibility of your use here. So, oh, I forgot to sell the wine. Ugh, I'm an idiot, and that's going to hurt because now I'm going to have to do this in a smaller chunk. Well, I can only get 24, so we're going to just get 24 in the meantime. That kind of hurts. But as I was saying, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that turns you away from this game that isn't explained and, and so when I wasn't in the adventure job, um, I missed out on uh, more experience when I should have had the possibility for more um, and I, I really screwed it up let's try this again Look at that, leveled up again. You've gained bonus fame due to aid support. Oh, look at that. What do you mean, aid support? I don't even know what's happening with my aid. Can't assign traits yet, so, and she's not at the high enough. I don't know, but whatever. But anyways, yeah, there's a lot of things that you just don't know about that someone has to explain to you because there's just a lot of layers of this game. And there's a lot of layers of this game you'll just never get to. Um, I've played this game probably on and off for 10 years and you know, not the same dedication that you see some of these people around here that are glowing and other things, but I um, seem to be, you know, capable of taking care of myself after a certain point but it definitely I've never really left the Caribbean or South Africa before and there's a whole world to explore you know there's a lot of um world here that I've just never got into because I couldn't advance my ship past a certain point now this ship is the one I remember sailing the most in because that goes to show you how much how far I've gotten I did in my last uh, point you know well that guy's using the sloop too popular to use even when you have the ability to have other ships um, goes to show you that like even though you level up and stuff like there's still like a lot of grind here to even just move on to these other ships they have such high level requirements um, in my situation here I've got ships here or I can get a galley a trading galley or a battle galley which are good ships for storage but relatively slow ships in water um, that I may or may not want ever want to use. I mean, right now this ship is just a nice quick ship. I can't carry and buy much more than what I already got, so this is like the perfect size ship anyways. But some people who can buy lots of something or do pick up a lot of items along their longer trips, no matter how long they are or how short they are or uh, you know how slow they are, they don't care. They want to just make the most for bang for their buck. So let's not forget to sell the wine this time. And, and so there's a lot of oh now coral could be bought here that's something I did not know um, it's good to know price is going up here but you know it, it, there's a grind to this and you're gonna have to dedicate some time to be able to get to the ships and things that you you have um, which reminds me I kind of want to pull 
Um, this one I'm nowhere even ready yet to do, but I'll show you what I mean by like I've been saving this ship for a while because I want to kind of sail this ship at some point. So the Advanced Beagle is the ship I would like to get into. It's a nice looking ship from what I have idea. 37 adventure uh, ability and an 18 level for battle. I'm almost here. I think I'm like 12 or so. So I can get here if I wanted to grind it by just battling ships. But this right here, like, that's 37. I don't think I've ever passed level 25 in adventure in my all my life, life playing. So I'm holding this boat for a long time for the hopes of being able to use it. Which I may never end up using it, and it might be better off just to have the money sooner. Otherwise, I have the advanced. Uh, this is the ship that most people say the Sambuk uh, that is worthwhile. But again, level 21, and I'm not there yet. Um, what else do we have here? We have my maritime one again, level 21 for this, and this is a frigate. So this is a nice ship for battles. Holds a lot of cannons. I could drop it so it holds less inventory and has even more cannons. Like there's. I'm just not there yet. Um, and then you have this, which allows me to get three other ships. You know, these I'm probably the closest to getting into. Uh, this would be nice because of the ability to have a lot of cargo. But look at this extra cannons, awesome. A lot of sailors required, which means that these trips are going to be expensive trips and slow trips just to be able to carry this much cargo. This is more of a battleship, if you ask me, as an improvement to what I have. Then you got the regular galley. You know, it requires less soldiers, guys, than that. I'm just straight up confused as to how this happens. But, you know, you got all these different ships, and I, I honestly don't think I'll ever use whatever this is. You know, like, maybe I'll print these, uh, have you know, have these made so I can give them to my aide, who can be... You know, she'll be level 16 relatively quickly, and then I can give this to her, and then she could use this, and I get the extra storage capacity. That's going to likely be the case. You know, she's just going to have to follow me, and she'll go the speed in which the boat that I'm going. So, more trade fame. All right, let's get out of here. Let's sell that jute. But you get the idea. This is it's a little bit of a grind to keep doing this. But this is how you get yourself up and level. As you make these trips, you subsidize your trips by making, you know, half of what you're going to spend. And you can boost that trade uh, skill up pretty high by buying and selling uh, the stuff. And I, I could be like level 26, you know, in a matter of 10 minutes if I really wanted to focus it. Um, the adventure is not going to go up very quickly by doing this. Uh, I need to start doing some of these uh, other items. So, which, by, by the way, let me go ahead and put those ships back into storage because Beagle's not going to happen anytime soon. Use the maritime ship. That's just going to be the slowest one to get to. I'd rather have the galley available so when I do want to apply it to my um, aid. Which, will, again, also won't be for a while. But I do have some ship information here to show you. I already have these ships available, too. You know, the Battle Caravel, in case I want to have a battleship for my... Oops, I'm about to hit ground. About to hit ground. Ooh, got lucky. Um, uh, I got the battleship in case I have something that I want to give to uh, my aid to be battle-worthy. I have a cruise sloop, so this is the... Um, uh, adventure ship. So this one's just kind of like another backup ship. Should I have, you know, don't have the battle experience? Actually, no, I will. And I got the graduation Palaka. Like, I got a lot of ship options for my aides. And I don't want to get rid of the ships in case they're useful, you know, for different purposes. Oh. But, anywho's, we have uh, quite a few trips ahead of us here. And this is going to be my goal. Uh, what you guys have missed so far up to this point has been me consistently doing more of the uh, trading back and forth, making more food. Um, hence why my levels are higher now than they were. Oops, I don't want to sell yet. Um, you know, I've been kind of focusing my my time on getting... Ooh, what am I doing? Um, a lot of trade up uh, for this purpose. I want to I want to really get myself in a position where I'm 
comfortable and capable uh, with buying and selling these trade routes and getting my trade fame up and my trade skill up so that way I'm really ready to go for um, those ships that have the high trade requirement. Boom. Okay, it didn't really go up a level there, but that's, a, you know, it's going to be a while to get to level 24, but what did I get there? 1,500 trade experience? I'll be there in a matter of no time for the next level. But this is what I'm essentially going to be doing for the rest of the afternoon here, or morning, because I have to go do some laundry. But this is what my goal is, to just consistently, you know, make a profit. Um, and that should boost my trade skills up. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, grinding to do in this game. And this is just one of those things that you have to do in order to get somewhere. Uh... I've also been working on the event quests, which I'll show you those. These are, like, in just for being a Spaniard, this is the stuff I have to do to get through the 30-something the chapters that there are in this storyline. I don't ever pay attention to what's going on. You just pay attention enough to know where to go to next. So this one says, was ordered ahead to Palma. So I just gotta go to Palma at some point, you know, and go through the prompts and click through the pictures and... When I'm done, then I'll just go to the next thing. And you get fame for it, you get experience, you get money, so it's it's worth your while to do. You'll get ships, you'll get items. Um, I don't suppose that you'll be, you know, um, you know, well beyond everyone else, but you'll definitely get some stuff for it. And you'll get port permits along the way, too, which is another reason why you should do it. Because you won't be able to go everywhere without doing port permits. Um, uh, without getting them all. You need them in order to get to the places that are much farther away and more profitable for selling stuff. Um, as you see here, people don't go to East Asia to buy the item and then sell directly for trade fame. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they do up to a certain point, but what they then do is do what they just saw there. Try to boost people's up, you know, with their trade experience by selling it at a higher price than what you'll sell it for. People are willing to pay a lot of money for it, you know, and make uh, a, you know, profit just from selling it to other people. You won't get experience in other things for it, but you'll definitely get a, uh, you'll definitely get a lot of money. That's for those people who are trying to make money. I mean, I'm trying to make money too, but I also want to get my character leveled. I want to also help people. I mean, people are selling it for just one thousand less than the guy next to them. You know, I don't see what's stopping people from selling it for half that amount, so long as the price of what they cost them to go get it is, you know, still included. I mean, yeah, maybe those are the correct prices. You know, what does it cost you to sail your boat all the way out there? You know, that could all be, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, calculated. That's the ship I'm trying to get to, the graduation Sambuk. It's a nice ship. It's got good sail um, stuff comparative to mine. It's got more horizontal sails um, for cross ship, cross the ocean shipping and sailing. Um, better wave resistance, so it can definitely do that cross stuff. And then look at the size of that hold. That's a good size hold. The person's going with just the bare minimum of people to make for longer trips. Not carrying any cannons, which I don't understand why not. Um, seems to me like you should just carry uh, your cannons with you. They don't take up space in the inventory, from what I understand. So, you can have them just in case. But, people seem to not do that. I'll have to look into that, see why people don't. But that's the ship I'm trying to get into. It's got a better hold than what I'm currently having, even though it's a adventure boat. It would be better. So let's go ahead and sell our wine again for a good profit. Buy more red beans. <clears throat> well, look at that. We have coriander options. Look at all these spices. More jute. I don't know if coriander is going to be up in price, so let's just buy one coriander. Let's 
you buy one hazelnut? I'm just curious. Will it go up for higher? Market prices. No, we don't want to sell that in Seville, so we'll just go ahead and sell that now. Hazelnuts. Wow. These are not things to buy at the moment, so good thing I only bought two of them. Sell them back. I wonder if barley will sell. Because again, if I could fill my hold up. Nope. It's one of those things that just, you know, you gotta kind of test buy. Unless the prices are already good, you gotta be careful on what to buy, you know, so you don't uh, stretch yourself too thin by buying stuff that you shouldn't have. Oh, I know I've been coming back here and I've been doing my investments to see if I can buy more and more jute. It's opening up more and more options to buy things, like I can now buy those two extra spices. Um, but I want to see if it allows me to buy more jute as I go. Sorry, now that is the high selling item. But anyways, guys, I hope this uh, it was informative. Uh, this is just a little trip I've I found to be very good. Sometimes it's going to Seville, sometimes it's going to Malaga or Lisbon or some of the other options, but this is just a really good um, trip to make if you are low level and want to make some money and also get some trade fame. I mean, obviously this is eating into my money a bit because I am buying a lot more um, uh, East Asian spices than probably people would suggest doing. You know, obviously it's depleting my funds as I go, but you could only buy as much as that you make when you sell the jute and then you'd just be breaking even but also getting that trade fame uh, and experience uh, I'm trying to go for the maximum amount which means I'm willing to you know lose a little bit of money here compared to where I was um, and obviously each trip that you make you're gonna have less and less jute that you can buy because you know I mean, there's time that needs to be put in between each trip and as you do that you'll just deplete your jute buying resources um, at some point it just doesn't become viable uh, but right now we're still, you know, able to pick up a good chunk of jute. Um, it's not very much. Maybe do this another four more times to get the value that I would like out of it. And then we'll go and do some other things. Um, I might go do more of those event quests to move along with the story so I can get more port permits and more experience and along the way more adventure experience potentially. Um, or maritime experience depending on the role and the combat situation we're going into. Again, remember to change into those jobs uh, before you go into battle. Change into the jobs in which that you think would be the most um, beneficial to the situation you're going into. And see, now the next level is 90, 90, 90. Remember it was 60. Um, again, I don't know what benefit that does when you go up to 90 other than just getting new ships. It seems kind of like a World of Warcraft. We increase the levels and we put add new ships that only ship people with those levels can get into. But it takes a long time to get up there and more grindy than I've ever seen any other game. But uh, hopefully this was informative, guys. Um, I hope, you know, if there's any other questions you have about this trip or if there are other trips like this, um, this is the first one that I've found uh, to be like this. Um, if you have one yourself that you know exists in, say, another part of uh, this area, let me know because I feel like a lot of people could benefit from that and other people could read that and see the benefits uh, of depending on where they are because this might make sense only for Mediterranean people. So hopefully this was informative and that you guys can uh, find something from this and it was beneficial to you all. And I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.